Hello everyone, in this tutorial we'll take a look how to get the most recent value in React Native if you use a state variable like this, count and a function set count. Right now I have created two more new functions, one which is increment, the other one is handle press 2. Increment is responsible for going through it five times and increase the value each time by one. And this is decreases the value by minus one each time. So now let's go ahead and press on this so it increases the value as we expect and it increases the value as we decreases the value as we expect right but now what will happen if we press on this you may think if it if we press on this the value would be 11 immediately no it won't be it would be 7 as you see all right and we see the printed value here why it happens it happens because each time we look through it first in the first loop it takes the previous value so or the current value what is our current value is 8 and it tries to increase it by 1 and it becomes 9 it, it, it becomes 9 but it is not saved so in next iteration again it starts from 1 why because the previous value 9 has been has not been saved so even though it increases but it is not saved so each time it starts from the previous value and why it is not saved because the render is not triggered if render is not triggered the save the value is not saved and the most value updated value is not shown okay so we can prove it like this we can put a console log and we can do count okay so now let's go ahead and save it and let's increase the value here so as you see it rendered previous value eight five times now if we press it again our previous value or current value would be nine and it would render over here five times as you can see so when the last iteration happens the value is saved and the render happens or render happens so the value is saved you can understand it like this but how do we overcome this problem if you really want to save it and uh, uh, show the recent value during rendering so it's easily overcomable or we can overcome it easily how do you do that so just return a function we can return a function here uh, how to return just an arrow function count whatever the value is there it takes it and increase it by one and then returns it as it returns the value is saved even the re-rendering is not triggered as you can see it from there so re-rendering is not triggered but the value is saved so what will happen with this so it will take the previous value which is a 10 and increment it by one and it would become 11 and the value would be saved and in next loop it would start from 11 and it would be now 12 and after saving all these values each time we'll see the most recent value when the rendering happens in our log or over here okay so now we'll save it and we'll see now it's 15 now it's 20 so the correct way of saving or correct way of incrementing or decrementing or changing the value is using a return function okay so whatever value it is there it will take and save if you return a function like this okay so it's uh, so you should do it like this instead of count plus one count minus one they worked because it just happened once and this function is done and rendering happens so we see the immediate value immediately but if it happens a lot of time you have to do it using like this otherwise you won't get the most recent value okay so hopefully this makes more sense and if you like the video don't forget to subscribe and give me a like thank you